So here we are guys, part three. Uh, I've already been on a burn sunburn there and we're going to go ice fishing on Betty Lake for which we need to buy a license, an Argo, uh, be able to use the Argo uh, on the awards and buy an ice fishing rod. Now I've been on and had some epic battles with some epic fish um, and we've got a fair few and I've managed to jump up another couple of levels so we're on level six into level six now so let's go into the tutorial here we go right and we've got the usual stuff there and we go to our fisheries and as you can see we've got Betty Lake with all the usual information I've shown you in part two uh, of this uh, be on the any language there but I'll put that back to my language Right, and what we do is to go to Betty Lake, we've got this arrow here, Betty Lake Frozen, of course, the winter one. Uh, and this is the one we're going to play. So before we go in there, we need to uh, we need to buy some stuff, including a license, which you can see not see there, because I've already bought it, but I'll just put a little clip in now. Uh, Betty Lake, and we flick on, we've got Betty Lake in winter. Now we're going to have to buy a license for this, so it's going to cost us $100, so... That's an hundred dollars gone right away. Yeah. And we're back to here. And uh, yeah, I already bought the license and then I forgot I needed to buy all the all game. We didn't have the money for it. So I've gone out and as you can see up here, uh, we've got $1,252 in which to spend. So now we need to spend that money. So first of all, we uh, we need to just nip in here and have a look what, what's been going on. Our experience levels are up, of course. Our money's up. Uh, the time spent up is, is five hours over now, nearly six hours. Uh, we've got 69 fish, we've fought eight. Uh, we've still got the biggest fish is a brown trout. But as you can see, we've got some unlocks here. Now, we, we need the Argo, so we need to unlock that Argo. So we, let's unlock that for a start. That gives us the uh, ability to fish on the ice and of course that's going to give us the ability to catch some more fish there's not going to be a lot of people on there as well but it covers Betty Lake uh, completely including the ice fishing so the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to go to here into the inventory and as you can see ice fishing we'll click on that and we've got our ice fishing rods so what we need to do is buy an ice fishing rod we'll go for the cheapest which is the one at uh, the beginning it's 182 dollars as you can see it's, it's not uh not the the, the biggest sort of uh, specs on there but we'll buy that we've already got line and uh, we've got the uh the spoon so that was the first thing we have to do if we go back there to normal equipment which i forgot to show you in the previous two um beginners part so you've got ice fishing equipment you click on you get ice fishing equipment click to normal you get normal so let's go back to ice fishing equipment uh we've got rods line hooks bait lures and other so we'll go to the other we've got ground bait rods by indicators we've got other again and there's our argo so we want to buy the argo another 180 dollars guys so uh, we need to buy that so we've got the argo we've got a few bits and pieces um and you have to be level two minimum to buy that remember so we've got our argo we've got our lure we've got our rod let's go and cut an all in there so let's go back to that let's go to play and here we are we're on the winter scene now on betty lake and we're going to do a little bit of a different technique because we're going to go ice fishing as you can see we've got our agar in our hand we're uh, sort of middle of the lake we've uh, got some pegs about around us which we can identify there's peg three there's peg two further up so peg one's right down in that corner peg five is over here um yeah and they're the the first ones they're pick balls where we normally start off so should we take a walk across the ice maybe a little bit towards peg two let's have a, a little trot across the ice 
Now we've got the flat peg two there, as you can see. Is that flat peg two? I think it is. Oh no, that's, is that what? No, that's three. Two's over there. Where am I going? I'm going towards time, aren't I? So we want to go over here. That's peg uh, two there, that flat bit of rock. Which means peg one is down that bottom end. So I'm going to nip around here. Right, so there's peg two where we normally fish up and I've been fishing off there catching a lot of fish. So I'm going to go out to about here. Let's have a, a quick turn around see where we're at a bit further. About here say. Peg two, yep. Peg one over there. And we're going to drill an hole in here, if I can remember how we do it. <laughs> that is always uh, always the thing. So let's go oh uh, there, start drilling the R. Ah. So here we go. So we're drilling our little hole. Come on. Come on. As you can see we have to move the mouse to drill an hole. Don't know whether we're through yet. There we are, we, we're through. We've got our little old our fish nod has come to our hand. But all we do on this is we just drop it down. So I'm going to try and set the drag first of all. See what we've got for drag. 50 will do. We'll clear, we'll click on that. I'm going to make the retrieve a bit faster. And if we press space bar, we can wind down. And what we can do, we can jig this. So if we go under the ice, we, we see, we can see our, um, our lure. But let's just take the lure back up. And we should be able, we might get a glimpse of, of where we're coming through. Here we go. Can I get a glimpse of where we're coming through? There's where we're coming through. So, uh, Let's wind that back down using the space bar guys. And as you can see, we've got some fish there. We might bring that up a little bit more. And we'll pop back to the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift it, lift and drop. So I'm using the... Oh, and we're on to a fish right away. So let's wind in. Oh, we lost it. Uh, it might be a bit too fast on the, on the retrieve. So we'll drop that down. Use the space bar, drop it in, and we've got our meters there. How far down we are. Let's have a look underneath. We, we, we're not too bad. Let's go back up. Let's do a bit of jigging. And of course, you can pull up on it. And we don't. We've got fish, so. We want to play this fish and if it oh oh is it gone right under so we've got a big fish then have we let's have a look under see what we've got if i can oh well, let me see we've lost it we lost it we lost the fish i do our line was messed about trying to see under the water where are we are at 1.6 meters down aren't we yeah so we'll go there no 15. let's give it a jig See whether we can then say something else. We've had two bites I've lost already. And we're done again. So strike into that. Let's have a quick oh I lost it again. Bummer. Have I, have I lost it again? Let's have a look. Yeah, we had lost it again. It was on top, wasn't it? We're not doing so bad. I'm not gonna go down so far this time. About a meter down, I think. Uh, that'll do. And we'll see whether we've got anything in the upper part and see whether we can get them straight in and straight out of this hole. Nothing in that level is there. Let's lower it a bit further. And back to the. Oh, and we didn't. Let's get, let's get it. Oh, we lost it again. 
Man, we're not doing so well, are we? We must have uh, some bigger fish here. We'll get out 1.6 meters round about. Right, so let's I'll just draw it up a little bit more. Here we are, let's get, try and get fish up this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we lost it again. I can't believe how many fish I'm losing on this. I don't normally lose fish on this either. Right, let's, uh, oh, I don't lose so many fish on this. Let's kind of jig in, see whether we can get something on and get it up quick. keep on redlining every time let's get it down we will we'll, we will get a fish eventually guys we will get a fish eventually about 1.6 meters that genie this time I might let the fish run for a bit right, the fish is running I think I think what's doing it is the um, is the drag. I think the drag at fifty percent is too much. But it doesn't seem to be letting me move anything more. So let's leave it at zero. No drag at all. Let's put it down to the one point six meters and let's see whether we can actually play a fish. It will take longer to bring them up, but we might manage to be able to keep one so I don't know, brought that up too far then let's get down 1.6 let's jig see whether we get anything oh we got one yeah and we can we can actually play this little bit I think so it's gonna get a fair way away with And we got one at last so we'll leave the drag off because that drag at 50 percent is just too much it just snaps it off we'll have that fish and we'll uh, we'll drop down again and we want about 1.6 meters again if you're fishing on on this lake if you were uh, on a lure if you if you dropped that's too uh, too much if you drop between 1.6 meters and 2.1 meters um that's you tend to eat a lot more fish so let's uh let's jig this again see whether we can entice another fish from this hole what we've got and what we're doing if i go underneath is we're just bringing it up and dropping it down it's not actually showing much there is it of the of the it up out and we've got a brown trout let's go uh oh, let's, let's try and fight this fish without redlining it too much he's getting a fair distance away just have to try and keep some sort of pressure on him see whether we can bring him back he's still taking loads of line so we're getting, we're getting there, we're getting there. Pulling, let's see whether we can get this fish up as well. You might see the old one do another dart, so. We'll just keep him going, he's coming I think. He's seen the old one, There we go, and we got another fish. And look at that, not a bad price at either. There. Um, yep, yeah, we'll have that one as well, and we'll go for our next one. Yeah, we're about 1.6 meters to 2.1 meters. We'll jig again. 
all I'm doing is I'm doing the strike and lifting at the same time so we get that little bit more movement on the spoon that we've got down there because don't forget this is the only lure we've got at the moment see whether we can entice anything else Oh, and we're done. Let's get some. Oh, we lost it. We lost it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, just go back that. We'll go back to Argo, I think. Um, can we go back to the Argo there? Escape. I want to equip, but it's not letting me because I'm still fishing. So we'll just have to resume. Um, I haven't tried moving about along the lake before, but uh, it doesn't seem that you can. There must be a way of uh, going and being able to dig another hole somewhere. Here we go, so let's have another go. Let's see if we can get anything else. Ah, you have to press E, don't you, to stop pushing then. One of these days I'll use my brain and remember some of this stuff. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything else here, is it? Oh yeah, we are, we're on. We're on, we don't want to let it run a bit. Give it a little bit of a fight back. Taking a lot of lime, I don't know what we've got on. Or oh, we've got a burbot on. So let's see where we can get this burbot in. Here we go, we get in there. And we've got a burbot, and we'll have that as well. So, what I have to do because I forgot how to do this but we have to press E to stop fishing and we'll go and find another fishing spot so we'll go towards peg 3 I think so because there's lots of fish normally around this area so I think we'll take about here between these two pegs uh, peg 3 and peg 5 I think that is and um, We'll start drilling so here we go press r to start drilling and then we have to flick the mouse round to cut through and yeah i got that's the argo done we're back on our fishing rod so we'll uh, get down and get about 1.6 meters So we'll start jigging again, don't forget I'm using the strike, the right mouse button and lifting at the same time. So let's do that. Let's see whether we can entice something at this end. And we have, we've got something on already. Oh we lost it. Let's uh let's get that back down to 1.6 meters. Or thereabouts, and I'll do 1.8 meters. See what we we can get. There we go. Let's uh, let's let it do a little bit of a run. Let's have a look what we've got. Oh, we've got is that another brown trout and it looks quite quite a big one uh, we're not going to move that one yet are we let's let it in a bit run just try it every now and then see whether we can get it turned don't let it red line a lot i've had a lot of uh, border red line fights with with fish 
to get to the money that we needed to do this so guys so please do persevere a little bit um, get your money in and do have a go at this is another technique another way of catching fish here yeah, we've got moving now so we get this brown trout out it doesn't see the old one do a dash again and snap us up Um, I use quite a fair few techniques as well, including. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Look at that, that's a new record. And look how much money it's just earned us. We'll have that. Uh, I used um, the, uh, the drop method, I used the flicking method from side to side to catch fish. Uh, and we've got some bigger fish now. We're on the um, better breaking strain line as well. That's, uh, Put that down back to the 1.6 meter area. That'll do. Um, but I had some epic ba battles that was red line most of the way. Uh, in the light red, don't they go dark red because you snap off. But don't be afraid to get up into that red and uh, amber and yellow stage of reeling in. If you, there we go. If you. Uh, You've got a fish that's, that fights like mad. We've got one here. Let him let, have a little bit of a run. What have we got? We've got another trout. So, let's see where we're yeah, we bringing him back now. There we go. 32. We're not doing bad. We, we're earning money back there. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, let's drop down again, down to that 1.6 meter to 2.1 meters. We'll, uh, we'll go two meters on this one for a change. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, with all this coughing going on with me, <coughs> I still haven't got over with this little bit of a cold that I've had. It's still lingering in parts. Let's go back to um, 1.6 meters because that seems to be around about the sweet spot, isn't it, for catching fish? Taken. Let's, let's have a look. There's that was red lining right away. We got another burbot on there. That's, uh, that's quite a big burbot as well. Might feel of it. Let's wind him in. We're bringing him in now. Oh, not so big. Not so big. Looks a lot bigger. Felt a lot bigger. One more on this and uh, we'll call it a day for the ice fishing, another technique um, on Betty Lake that we can use. Of course we've got to buy the equipment, so I'll recap of that. Uh, we have to buy the license first of all, then we have to get the Argo, we have to have the award to win the Argo. I've gone three metres down, never mind, that'll do. We've got to uh, have the award to be able to use the, the Argo, which we get while uh, we're going to the fish now. Uh, which we get while we're moving up buying fish anyway so uh, that opens that up for us then we got to go into our store into the ice fishing buy the rod the, the argo um, and then get out on the lake and do some fishing are we uh, we're not being able to turn this one yet are we Here we go, we're turning them now. So we'll just wind this one in. 
as you can see I'm not winding in massively fast just an average speed on this no drag because um, the drag is, is just too much on this particular reel at 50% it just causes snap offs right away here we go Oh, oh nice fish look at that $97 in the kitty for us there we go and we, we're back to basically where we started at around about $1200 one more and then we'll call it a day so let's take it down I want to take it down again to the uh, 2 meter or beyond the 2 meter mark near the 3 meter mark around about there it'll do and again we all jig the uh, spoon just trying to trap the fish and we'll recap eat to stop fishing remember and be able to move on which I'd forgot um, space bar to lower the uh, the spoon down into the hole and R to cut the hole with the agar from the beginning As well as that for your real speed of course. There we are, we're on to a fish. Let's have a look at what we've got. Oh <laughs> we've got a pumpkin seed. Let's see where we can must be a good pumpkin seed if we can't turn it. Here we go, we've got them turned now. And as you see, the spoon catches a variety of species of fish here on the Betty Lake. In fact, I think it catches them the more, um, even the eyed every now and then. So, we'll uh, hit tea, we'll come off, we'll have a quick look around. This is Betty Lake in winter. Guys, give it a go. Buy this stuff, try it out. If you don't like it, you can always sell it, remember. Uh, but it's also another technique for you to be able to use. Uh, another way of being able to gain enough fish. Move through your levels and buy the stuff you want. So let's just have a look at where we're at now anyway. On our personal in skills. Uh, we've got some we can still unlock again. Yeah, so uh, there's our experience, our money. Uh, we've caught 77 so we've lost 20 fish on the fights which we, a lot of the, these was on on this one was particularly down to uh, the drag and uh, we've uh, still got our brown trout as the biggest fish and being on normal so then we have to you have to think what do we want do we want to get extra 10% on the experience or do we want to use a boat what I'm going to say is you know I'm going to leave that to you um, to me I'm going to go and get the extra 10% on the experience which always helps oh we've got enough to unlock so I'm going to unlock Hunter Vision as well uh, so what I'll do is I'll show Hunter Vision on the next one uh, and we've got like a few seconds of Hunter Vision now which is brilliant next one we really want to unlock um, is the boat so we've got boat use anyway guys we'll call it a day for that and I'll uh, I'll see you on the next tutorial which will be number four I'm not sure yet what we're going to do on that I'm going to have to build up some more money and get up some more levels and uh, yeah I think we'll, uh, we'll have a look what else is about and what we can do anyway guys thank you very much don't forget if you do like what you've seen subscribe hit the notification bell share it amongst your friends thumbs up and thumbs down is totally up to you anyway guys bye for now